hello everyone welcome back to my channel good day today I'm gonna show you how I will assemble my swash plates and the lever for the servos with my bearings which I promised from my previous videos so I'm gonna demonstrate everything in details on how I made this and how I'm gonna assemble this to my helicopter uh, if you didn't see how I couple this my mechanisms from the body frame of my helicopter you check on my previous video you see how I assemble the mechanisms and the tail rotor or the tail swash plate or the tail mechanisms you can call it anyone you want to call it uh, this is the belts of my tail rotor which I assembled last week uh, from my tail mechanisms I'm spinning the main gear the mechanisms is spinning also uh, this is the pitch cycles of my tail mechanisms uh, this is the main frame body of the helicopter uh, today I'm gonna talk about the lever and the swash plate with the bearing uh, this is my swash plate it's very smooth, nice and awesome. A very great fabricated swash plate. This is the first ever made of homemade wooden helicopter swash plate with a fully mechanism which is fully controlled of DFC grips. Uh, this is my swash plate. So I use the bearings of my filing machines which give me the actual size I want from the main variance of my swatch plate this is the ball joint which I join the two plastics together make it in a way that it won't pull out and also navigate all orientations uh, this is my swatch plate which I'm gonna assemble the swatch plate on my wooden RC helicopter good uh, this is the mirror too here is my mirror to shop uh, this is the mirror to shop on the mechanism so I know some people do think that this is the size of my mirror too no this is the size of my mirror too uh, this is almost uh, I think is a uh, 4 mm sharp can slot it inside the main shop then lock it with my lock ring uh, this is the shaft of the helicopter and also this is the lever wow this is looking very awesome this is bearings wow look at it a very tiny bearings in the bolts swing control a very tiny bearing look at this wow this is my lever each of the lever has a bearing a very tiny bearing control for the lever this is also the connection of the lever which connect to my servos connected to my servos so i did the same things here which is the plastic i use i use i glue the plastics together which i fabricated in this form uh, because i have already done a lot of things so and um, i can't go back to my previous fabrications due to time factors and i don't have enough material to make a replica of this uh, this is my lock for the main shop which is my ring lock for the main shop to my make uh, to the shop of my mechanisms uh this also goes into this bearing it enter into this bearing that's the bolts and nuts which i tie it all together with the main mechanism which is i slot this in here and i slot this then i screw it together and uh, this is a screw 
on my swatch plate stabilizer which is a front swatch plate stabilizer uh, also here are the bearings wow look at this looking awesome this is my bearings this is the most tiniest bearing I use which I use into my lever I use this bearing in the lever section use it here and I also use it as the lever root so that's the most tiny bearings uh, and this is the bearing I use on my mechanisms I use the double bearings on the top of the mechanism I also use double bearing on the bottoms of my mechanism and also I use this bearing I use this bearing on my four corner bevel gear for my tail rotor and I will use this for my grip slings and I also use this for my grips this is the bearing I use for my swash plate so I have another bearing that's why I'm showing you this but these tools I'm going to use it for my grips and this also I will use this for my outer layer of my grips so these are the bearings I use for my homemade wooden RC helicopter and those are the levers and this also those are pins which I will join it together I will slot it into my main lever holder this hold my lever to the helicopter so now let's begin to work Also adjustable, which is a variable lever. Hi guys, this is done. Uh, the lever is done. This is the lever of the swash plate. Uh, this is the other levers of the swash plate. Uh, the lever is done. This is the swash plate. This is the mirror tool of the swash plate. This is the mirror tool of the swash plate. And the lever. Wow. This is the lever. And I'll also make some other adjustments of my lever because when you see here this screw is not yet fixed because it needs some other adjustments uh, but I will do that later and this is the merit of the lever and also this is my tail wow it is amazing I almost forgot this this is my tail lever which is connected root for the servos my tail too so the lever is for the servos of my tail good this lever is for the servos I screw it together to fit it so this is the servo is for the test servo right here is my servo connections so thank you very much uh, if you want more updates of my videos please like and subscribe and 
hit the bell for more updates thank you very much have a good day